again, it is thank you, Lori, for um, helping me today again with my live and for answering any questions. So first, I want to show you my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's from Unique in the Creek. And now I have my own hashtag and my own shirt, Make It Like Sharon. If you would like your own shirt, you can go on the Unique in the Creek website and it's under merchandise. So I would love you all to have a Make It Like Sharon shirt. That would be great. So we're all about multiples. Um, I love that so many creators are making multiple flowers on the wreath board. I'm proud to be the originator of the um, double clematis flower wreath. And um, I have this, I'm gonna take it off. I have this pink and white one here. And I want to tell you how I decided on doing this. Um, I love the clematis or clematis flower, however, however you want to say it. And what I decided to do was just take the petals and place them on the board because it is a binding flower and it's more than one flower. So you needed two. So I started to place them on the board. Um, there is no pattern. If you look on the back, I just kind of placed the zip ties in all different ways, up and down, diagonal, um, from row to row. So it was kind of hard to show you guys a true pattern. And then I wanted to do the yarn as a center um, because it was the closest look to the clematis. Um, it was kind of big, but I still like the way it turned out. Then, I don't know who it was that decided to put these petals on a plastic disc. Whoever you are, thank you so much because it makes it so much easier to um, put, to have more than one flower on the board and to place it on the board and to secure it easily on the board. Um, these plastic mesh discs come in different sizes. Um, I got these from Joann's, but uh, Gloria said that you can get them at Hobby Lobby, you can get them on Amazon. Um, so you can try what works best for you. I'm using, I think this is like a three inch one. Lori had used a larger one, but it's good to compare and see how things work. Okay, so today we are going to be doing a multiple flower wreath with the daisy chain petal. Here, I've done two already, and we're going to be using the bling centers. Okay, so now the bling roping comes in, there was the purple and the yellow, and we're going to be making a pink one, and there's also orange. This roping is comes in a 15 foot package, that's three yards, and um, it is $5.70. And it will make two three inch half ball centers. Okay, so now here's my ball that I had. I cut it in half with a serrated knife. Okay, that's one way. Or you can go on Amazon and they have styrofoam cutters that you can invest in. Or the easiest way. You can go onto the Unique in the Creek and they have the half balls in three inches. Um, it's an eight pack for $2.25, less than 30 cents a piece. This is the way to go, already pre-cut nicely on the back, you know, smooth on the back. That's what I would do. But I wanted to show you and compare. It's always good to compare. So I also, all right, we're going to, I'm going to be showing you how to make the daisy chain petal. There's um, many ways to make this. This is the first time I'm making it. I did see the other day that Lori had done it with um, using a value mesh and ribbon, and she used three pieces. I'm using two pieces of the poly burlap. It is a little bit more expensive, but I do like the way it came out. And you know, you get to choose which way you want to make it. Um, it's good to you know, see different kinds of materials being used. Okay, so I think that's all the material. Um, 
get your glue guns on hot and ready because we will be making a bling center. And I'm just going to stand up and I'm going to push the phone down so you can get a close up of us making the petals of me making the petal. Okay, here we go. How's that Lori? I don't know if she's there, but anyway. Okay, there we go. Is it good? Can you yep. see? Yep. All right. So we're going to be doing a pink and white. I do have some petals already made. This is how you start off making the daisy chain petal. All right, we are going to take our white first. Okay, and it's going to be curl side up. You turn it into a diamond shape with the, your left. You start from the top, you fold it in half and go down to the bottom. Line it up the best you can. Okay, now you're going to take the bottom piece and you're going to go right under the edge of the top. Again, you're going to take the bottom and you're going to fold it up just below the bottom. Okay, now you're going to fold it in half so the tails meet. I like to use these little clips to hold it while I make the other part. Okay, now we're going to do the pink. Same way, curl side up. Now I've already flattened these and heat sealed them, and I guess that's the other easy part about using the value mesh. You don't have to heat seal anything. So. Again, we're in a diamond shape, the left edge, the edge to your left, and you're going to take the top, you're going to fold it again down to the bottom in half, take that bottom part, go to the top, right under the edge. You're going to take that piece and fold that up, then fold it in half. And again, we're going to clip it. I'm going to have my little garbage pail ready because I'm going to be trimming. All right. So now I want the pink on the inside, but you can also do it with a white on the inside. You know, there's so many ways to make this petal. It's great. Okay. So we're going to open it up. Now this little, like, opening part goes down and you're going to put this piece in. you're going to kind of like tuck it in unclip that you're going to surround the white you're going to surround the pink with the white that's what you're doing okay i like it to be about four and a half five inches long so i am going to trim the bottom into my little garbage pail And then I'm going to take my clip again. Now you can rubber band it if you want. I'm just going to take my clip again and hold it on the side until we're ready to put into our plastic disc. So let's do that one more time. You are going to be needing, I forgot to tell you before, each flower is 16 pieces of mesh. So for three flowers, 16 pieces times three is 48 pieces. A um, little less than two rolls, depending on you know what colors you're choosing. Um, and then you will also need green um, poly burlap for this particular one. You need about 10 or more pieces, I'm not sure yet, of the green for the leaves. That'll be covering, you know, any open spaces. So that's the material list. Hopefully I've gotten most everything. Okay, so again, we are going to take our piece, let's take our pink, curl side up with the left edge, with the edge to your left, I keep saying that wrong. Take your top, go to the bottom, fold it in half, take that bottom point, right a little bit under the edge, fold it, 
one more time, fold it up to the top edge, and then fold it in half so the tails are even. And take your clip and clip it and put it on the side. Now I've got a white curl side up, edge to your left. I got it right this time. Take your top, go to the bottom, and fold it in half. Take your bottom piece, fold it up, take your bottom again, and go up again. Okay, now we're going to fold it in half, and we're going to take our clip. Well, I got another clip over here. And we're going to clip it. Okay, now again, we're going to take the pink, this opening part goes onto the bottom, and the white is going to surround the pink, like so. We're going to trim, it's going to be, I think it is a little like more like four, four and a half, five, I sometimes trim a little bit more when I start putting it into the plastic disc. Okay, so now we're going to trim it. Okay, now we're going to get our clip and clip it and put it on the side. Okay, now we're going to take our plastic disc. I watched Lori's tutorial and she was very good about marking up the grid on here. There's a circle in the middle and then there's like a heavy plastic edge that makes like a cross sign. So I put it in black and then across this way. And then there's um, another piece of heavy plastic. If you look at your little disc, you'll see it running this way and this way and this way. And those are your I guess I'm going to call them quadrants where you're going to be putting your eight pieces. So you have one, two, three, four on this half and one, two, three, four on this half. And it does, I mean, it's, it, it is more precise um, to, to mark it out like this and then to try to figure out where to put it without marking it out. So that was a good tip. Okay. So we have our eight pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all ready to go. Okay. Now, again, I have the smaller disc. I think it would be easier with the, a little bit larger disc. I think that Lori has used the four inch disc. Um, also, I have the larger zip ties. They do work. Get yourself the smaller zip ties. It's much easier. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go, you're going to be placing them in the second row down from the top, in between the two lines that are here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six little spots in there. So you're going to start by going straight down from the top. And then you're going to go under and you're going to come back up right by that line. I don't know if you can see it. See what it looks like? Okay, then you're going to take your petal and you're going to be placing it in and zip tying it. Okay, and you can form out your petals later. I like to clip it as I go. So we got the first one in. Take your next zip tie. Again, second row down from the top, right in the middle of where you marked up in your quadrant. Zip tie down through there. I think, see if you're using smaller ones, it might be easier to get through. Okay, and back through.
Okay, and now we get our next one in. Now, if it's a little bit too long, you might want to trim off a little bit more on the bottom. You can also, at this point, I had done these last night, so I rubber band them. I'm going to take the rubber band off. And then I'm going to be placing it back into the zip tie. I like to use my clippers because sometimes it's hard to pull. All right, tighten it up and clip it. All right, next one. Again, second row down in the quadrant. Hope that's the right word. Okay, back up. Now you're going to take your pedal. Yeah, that's too long. We're going to trim that up. Okay, I'm going to take my rubber band off, get it back in the zip tie. put it in wrong. See? That's another thing I didn't explain. The opening part here needs to be facing down. I don't know if I can fit that back in. Let's try. Might be too closed. Yep. Oh, my garbage pail was hiding my mistake. Did y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Make sure that little opening part is facing down. And then clip it. Okay, we're doing our next one going up. Okay, now that should be fit pretty good. I'm going to take the rubber band off. You can leave it on. I just, just in case you don't, I don't want to see it. Again, I did it again. Okay. It was facing up again. Well, this gives you guys time to uh, keep making your pedals. I'm not going to make a mistake again. Okay, down and up. Okay, here we go. Facing right. So, like I said, this was my first time making the daisy chain petal. Have you all had a chance to try and make it yet? I really, um, I want to do the dog one with a ribbon. That looks so cute. Okay, go. Okay, that might be a little long. Trim this up. OK. 
Okay, I'll put that in. Okay, three more to go. Again, we're going to trim it up. I almost did it again. Turn it over. Make sure you have the nice side facing up. Or the closed side, not nice side, but closed side. I guess with the bigger plastic discs, you won't have to trim as much. So then we put that in. Nice side, the rounded side facing up. And our um, center will be sitting on top of the petals gives it a more, I guess, elevated look. Okay, last one. Go in through the second from the top down. One more time through. Okay, rounded side up. All right. I've got our last one. Now I like to push, I don't know why, I like to go loops up a little bit, spread it out. Now we have our pink flower. So now we're going to be making our center. Well, we're gonna put this on the side. All right, got your glue guns ready. Okay, I can open this. Hmm. Sort of, maybe. Come on. Okay. I have a piece of saran wrap, wax paper that I'm going to put down so I don't get glue everywhere. And it does help because it can spin it around. Okay. Now, here we go. You've got your disc. I like to poke a hole in the top where I have the center. I use a pen. Go right in the center and push down. That way I can put my end in a little bit to help support it. Oh, gonna make it a little bigger. Okay, so 
and we add a little bit of glue. Put that in. Okay, and we are going to go around and around and around. Start with a little bit of glue. I'm going to twist it a little bit. The beginning is always the hardest. And watch your fingers so you don't burn yourself. I don't know about you guys, but I have no feeling in my fingers anymore. <laughs> yep. Go. All right, keep putting your glue around. Take your roping and twist around. Push everything together. If you can see how I'm doing this, putting a little glue. I'm going around. I'm going to take our rope and we're just going to keep going around. Yeah, once you get started, it gets a little bit easier to go around until your rope can get stuck. <laughs> okay. You put it on there, that'll work. All right. Here we go. Hope you all can see what's going on here. You probably made tons of fling centers already. It's very pretty. I like all the different colors, very springy. I guess the little rotating uh, block would help too. Maybe like a little lazy Susan. Almost there.
Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, last one. Last time around, I think. Okay, keep slipping. Okay, now I'm going to cut this off. And we can just glue that last little piece to the bottom. Can we have enough for another center? We'll put that on the side. The other item that is great to have, if you haven't tried them yet, the cable timeouts, they go on the back, on the bottom of your center. Just take the little self-adhesive part off. We're going to put this on my stand for now. Okay, we're going to take that off. And it's sticky on the bottom, but I like to add a little bit more glue to make sure that it's secure. Right, so we're just going to put a little bit on the bottom. And then we're going to push that down. Let's hold it for a little bit. These are great. Just let that glue dry. Very pretty center. It's going to look very nice on there. All right. So now, move that out of the way. Now, this is another part that's like, not, it's not hard to explain, but it's hard to see underneath. What we're going to be doing is we're going to take, we're going to go from the bottom, and we're just going to put our um, zip tie in. I would go the third row down. One, two, three. Okay, get your zip tie through there. Okay, and it's going to come through the top. And if you could see that, it's coming through the top. Okay, then you're going to be putting it into your cable mount. Just go right through the bottom, okay? And then you're gonna go back through the top. Let's go the third row down again. Push it through. Okay, and this is going to secure it together. Hopefully I did that right, okay. Here we go. We've got our pieces here. And we're going to rip it in. And now it's laying nicely on top of the flower. Make it even a little tighter with my clipper. Okay. There we go. 
see the bottom and we're going to be doing the next step using that little piece so that's nice and secure on there so that's what our flower is looking like so far I'm going to move my glue gun out of the way okay now we're going to be securing the flower let's talk about the flower a little bit the multiples on here okay so this is um, the top of the board I just decided to put my flower here okay so it's the top of the board I went one two three over and that's where I placed my first flower so you can place it anywhere you like um, that would be the second row and then yeah, this is the hard part. I'm really sorry. Um, one, one, two, three over, and then four, five, six, seven, eight is where I put the next one. But, but you can put the your flowers anywhere you want on the board. The hard part is now putting them on the board, securing it, and then we're going to be putting leaves around it. But we're going to do this. Here we go. Okay, so here's what we have so far. I can see that. So I'm going to be putting it here. Now, well, now that it's done, let's see. Do we want it here? Do that's too close here. This is the best spot. I mean, I guess it could be closer in, but I think that would be the best spot. So that again is, this is the top of the board. One, second row, we're gonna go one, two over. And that's where we're gonna be placing our flower. So to place your flower on here securely, you're gonna start from the bottom and you're gonna go up. Then you're gonna go through, you're gonna go through your zip tie on the bottom. Okay. You're gonna flip it over and you're gonna go back through that other hole next to it, the paired hole. Okay, let's turn this over so you can see. They're both right here. Okay, you're gonna zip tie it closed. Check it. Come on, make it a little tighter. Flip that off. Right. Oh, did we try? Okay. All of them move around a little bit. Now, why does that move so much? Hold on. I'm going to try that again. be a little bit tighter. Okay. Go up. Okay. Start from the bottom.
we got to go through here. There's probably easier ways. Maybe I don't know about. There we go. That's a little tighter. Okay, now let's make some leaves. I have a whole bunch made already. Let's see, I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven already. Now, sorry about that, I moved away. We wanna cover these spaces. So I've used seven leaves already on the board. Um, now I gotta cover those spots. So in order to make the leaf, let's show you really quick how you make that. If you haven't made these before, you will take your piece, curl side up. You're going to start from the top and you're gonna fold it in half to the bottom. Now you've got it in this direction. Point is to your left. You're gonna take the little tail and curl it underneath. And then you're gonna take your fingers again and you're gonna scrunch all the way to the top. Take your fingers, kind of drag it up while holding your petal down. Curl that under. Nope, I'm not liking how it didn't stay together. So let's, there we go. Okay, you want them to stay together, line them up right. Underneath, again, scrunch to the top while pressing both pieces together. There we go, that's better. Then we'll take our rubber band and we'll rubber band it because we're not sure where we want to place things yet. And there's not zip ties ready for us because we don't know where we're gonna, where we're gonna put them yet. Okay, there's our leaves. Make a whole bunch ahead of time. All right, so where are we gonna go first? And it is good that it moves around a little bit because then you can decide where you wanna go underneath. Let's see, maybe we'll put, I wanna cover the middle I think you can see what I'm doing right. I'm kind of looking to see where the holes are. Here's a hole. And if I put it underneath it, it'll cover the bottom, but while also filling in the empty space. So that might be good right there. So maybe we'll start there. This one's already on. Let's start there. We'll go underneath. So that's kind of how you have to decide where you want things. You obviously don't want this part to be showing and you don't want your board to be showing. So you wanna kind of tuck it under the pedal. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. And you're gonna zip tie it in. There we go. Okay, now I think I want one under here. Oh, do I want it more? Let's see. No, oh, I'll do two. I'm gonna use right here.
I mean, the more leaves you need, whatever you need, use. If you need to fill up some spaces, it's okay. There's lots of leaves within the flowers. When you have flowers in your garden, I mean. All right, filling up this space. So now we're gonna need one right here, I think. So as we move that petal and we'll be putting our leaf right underneath. Okay. You may have to move the petals around a little bit. I also like to, when I had made my, the fall festival of, of flowers, I called it, I added some leaves on the outside. So you can always add flowers too if you wanted to. I made a um, sunflower bunch and then I added baby's breath and that looked really pretty too. So that fills in the space nicely as well. All right, I think we're gonna do two more and we're gonna kind of go in here. We'll go underneath, that'll be one and then one more. This is the hard part because you really don't know where your empty spaces are going to be until you place your flowers on. Okay, now we're gonna get that in there and go underneath. Lift our petal, zip it in and then fix it up. Okay, one more. There'll be one right here. Because it does look like most everything is covered. Let's see. Where would we want this? We're going to put it in here. All right, I'm gonna fix that all up. Now we gotta find the top. Okay, here is the top. We need to put our little hanger on there. Okay, so we'll go down to the front and then back. 
zip tie this on. So you hear it. Okay. And just look one more time at this. See how everything's looking. I maybe need to move stuff around. If anything kind of you know, you clip anything. <clears throat> This mesh does fray whether you heat seal it or not. Hmm. Even a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to lift up the phone. And here is our reef board. I hope you all like it. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Sharon. It turned out stunning. I love, love, love it. Thank you, Lori. Okay, so everybody, the replay will be available for a couple days on Facebook as well as on YouTube. It will be housed there forever. If you want to check out uh, Sharon's door decor on YouTube, she does have a video on there on how she did the clematis as well. So she is our multiple flower guru. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you guys at 430. Thanks, Sharon. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.